Today, we're reviewing some of these strangest products from TikTok that I've already decided are terrible. Jamie is gonna tell us why he didn't add these products to Vet19.com. And we're gonna tell him why he's wrong. This is Vet19 Rejects. Let's start the terrible. First up, the mini washing machine. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm a dirty boy. I have a mini washer from a dollar store. It's perfect size when you have one dirty sock. Mm. Open the lid. No. Close the lid and let it work. When it's done, oh, you just drain gotta like manually drain it. Now I just dry it and I can use it again. Did it make sense? <laughs> Did it make sense? Not a lot. This is the mini washing machine. Do either of you guys have like one dirty sock you'd like to wash? Don't look at my feet, internet. Turn away. Oh my god. It's tiny. That's not gonna fit. <laughs> No. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh we've got a throwback. Oh, oh, it's gonna oh, oh, no. All right, All right, it's powerful, remember? It's powerful. Ah! Oh. Oh. You guys probably can't hear it barely working. <laughs> oh, God, it's oh, really, it's oh, really God. tiny. Well, look how dirty the water is now, though. And it's leaking everywhere. Now we can just drain the water out with this. Now the dress is still very soapy. Yeah, well now we'll just rinse it off in here. This is a better washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just rinse that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Ah, drop it! My dressy dress! I hate this next product. Oh, why? Why? I don't hate. Jamie, love. Choose love. This flat water bottle, because apparently if I just slide that into my bag, I'll drink more water. So it's a water bottle that's not bottle shaped. The future of water. This is the flat water bottle. It's like a book of water. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. It'll fit great in your cup holder. So this is for like a laptop bag, I guess. That's where I want to have my water, right next to my laptop. Does it look more breakable to you guys than a regular water bottle? This top I don't trust. I don't know how to hold it, to be honest. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I guess there's a reason why all cups are round. I do like the flatness and the clearness, though. Well, uh, I don't like it, so there you go. <laughs> all right, end of argument, I guess. <laughs> I hate this next product. You'll probably love it. You're the smart one. You'll know. <laughs> it's called the Vabroom, which stands for vacuum broom. No, oh, that's vacuum fun. Broom. This is the vacuum broom. I hate it. This is your $80 broom, fam. <laughs> Can we get some dust out here? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, damn, Spitz. <laughs> Sweeping like normal, I know how to do this. I have to sweep up after Eric all the time. Normally here, I would have to get a dustpan. Oh, so hard. Oh! oh suck it It's actually doing better than I thought. Wow. Okay. Oh, I oh. clogged it. I like it. Would you pay $80 for this? $80 is a bit much. I'm ready for this poorly framed TikTok with all the headroom. <laughs> Random things I got off Amazon part 22. Healy skate looking things. Basically the wheel just pops out from a normal looking shoe and boom, you have skates. These are roller skate shoes. Yay! Oh, oh man. Okay. Wow. These are fun. These weigh one pound, 13 ounces each. A typical shoe weighs 11 ounces. Oh my goodness. Okay, they are heavy. <laughs> so what do I do now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's face oh, I hope Eric doesn't fall. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Catch me, commenters. It does seem like what. Oh. <laughs> I believe they're ninety-eight dollars, so uh, we're sending them back. Oh. I kind of like them. It seems like what the cool kid would wear in a Nickelodeon cartoon. Just what are those? <laughs> This next product drives me crazy because I hate it, but I also love it because I think I want it. The Kanye game changed after getting this TikTok scrolling ring. Oh, you see what she's doing? Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Man, if I saw somebody doing that at the gym, I would film them and roast them online. Okay. Should we go watch our shorts? Oh, there you are, dude! Nah. <laughs> oh, there's Brayden! Nah. Oh, cool, look at that! Nah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> I know. That's the efficiency nice. is through the roof. I'm in. I think we would sell this. If TikTok is uh, going to make me buy it, I think. TikTok made Jamie buy it. This next product is a real litmus test for you guys. This second one refizzes your sodas or fizzy drinks if you leave them out and they get flat. I tried it out on a Diet Coke, and as you can see here, it's pretty much completely flat. Then I attach the lid and pump it a few times, and it makes it nice and carbonated. Ooh, that's fun! It and it should stop it from going flat as well. This is the soda refizzer cap. If any of you think 
this can actually work, you're dumb. Are you saying TikTok lied to us, Jamie? <laughs> I hate flat soda. All right, I'm pumping it three to four times. Is it going that like that? Oh. <gasps> it's the same. Ah, uh, so TikTok lied to us. But let's see what its intended purpose will it work. So these sodas were opened at the same time, but this one had the fizz saver guy on it, and it's right. been pumped. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey. hey, it's fizzy. Yeah, it saved the fizz. Yeah, right. Not the refizzer, but the fizz keeper. Just drink the soda. I gotta say this next product, I actually love. Oh, okay. I'm, wait, what? I've done a complete 180. This is a time-locking safe container that's perfect for anyone who wants to break a habit. You set the time by twisting the dial on top. You then have five seconds to cancel before these side tabs come out and the container is locked for the time you set. Okay. You can set the timer for up to 10 days and once it's locked, there's literally no way to override it without smashing it to bits. So this is the K-Safe. I wanna put all my kids' cell phones in this thing, set it to 10 days, and just walk away. Would you put your phone in there? Never. <laughs> you know, I have to run a business, blah, blah, blah. So, so we go like, if we said no boggling oh. for a week. So Francis, um, huh? we've decided uh -huh. that it would be best for the show yeah. to take a bit of a boggling break. <gasps> ben, wanna... break up with Francis? No, you know what? Just... Ben need break. I think we should talk about this after you've Eaten some of the leftover food in the bottom of this box. Just take a peek in there. Just where, where, peek. Food? where food? Where <laughs> food? Get it! <laughs> so I'm hitting this Wait, down. Oh, now I have okay. five seconds to change my mind. Little taps come out, right? Oh. You can't open it. Francis! Even if you take the batteries out, it'll just save the time. You put the batteries back in, it just restarts the counter. <laughs> no, 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 don't hit that, it's $70. All right, you got 30 seconds left, Francis. 30 seconds, hold tight, buddy. And he's just popping off. And he's back. And then he freezes his back. Hey, no hard feelings, right, Francis? Ben, mortal enemy? <laughs> Francis killed Ben? I don't care for that. This thing is strong. I think you'd have a hard time busting this open. Should we find out? <laughs> no, 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 don't hit that, it's $70. So a hammer will do it. I'm doing another 180, folks. <laughs> For $70, you gotta be kidding me. That was so easy to break. There goes 70, but I'm so mad at this thing right now. This next product is super brotastic. This is the champagne gun slash beer gun slash soda gun. I've got a little stang here. Hopefully this is sealed. So it just like works like a squirt gun, like it kind of pumps. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. All right, Ben, here you go, some stang. <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh my God, I forgot how sour Stang is. It'll do that to you. I mean, it's like gonna get a sticky mess everywhere, but I guess like if you're at the beach and you're with your bros. I mean, it's 20 bucks. You got so your for... like money gun in one hand right. and your <laughs> champagne gun in the other and you're like, and they're on, like all the, the beach honeys are like, yeah. And Sandin's DJing. So you set it down anywhere, it's just gonna sort of dribble a little bit. I'm giving this one a no thanks. I'll give it, if I was on the beach. I'm just like, nah. If this next product works, I love it. Unrejected. Well, let's see if it works. You wanted to see if this tool will cut a bigger watermelon? Let's test it out. Whoa, that's big. Yes! Hey. Success. This is the melon slicer. Bad news, fam. Uh, it's not watermelon season. We've just got a regular old cantaloupe. Oh, I like cantaloupe. All right. Okay, now here you go. Oh, I hope this works. Oh, it's Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hey. A lot of seeds still on all of those Not though. Bad. You kind of got to give a little scoop a doop. You know, I was really looking forward to just boom and you're done. I still like it. I don't hate it. I wanted it to be better. That's a big tool to have in, in the old See you know, in the watch tool machine. drawer, right? Bang that with the pots and pans. I'm out. You're out? I'm out. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to put it in my basement. I hope we fall in love with this next product. I really do. It's like a new food. I like that. These are Alaskan kelp pickles, guys. Uh, this, is oh. kelp. this is kelp. Wait, are they pickles? Or is it kelp? I don't even know what to think. It sounds like it could be disgusting. Oh, it always smells interesting. So perfectly round. Do not like pickles. Oh, those are gonna be fun for you. 
Eh. It's softer than a pickle. Kind of flavorless. I like it better than pickles because it's not as pickly. It'd be like a fun, like if you run a funky sandwich shop with like I know. unusual ingredients. You would probably like, get it, right? Because you're like, whoa, this is kelp on that I'd sandwich. I'd get a hot pastrami and kelp. It says kelp benefits humans in many ways. Humans also use kelp to develop skin products that help them look good. <gasps> Kelp is rich in antioxidants. Oh, am I more beautiful? Can you tell? Are these cameras like set to slow motion? So that's that's <laughs> the Alaskan sea kelp. You like video games? Yeah, I do. Well, this next product is for mobile gamers. And these are my tip grips what? to help your fingers stay strong while gaming. Oh. No more sweat or blisters on your fingers. Did it make sense? These are called tip grips. I can't imagine how this would help. It's yeah. supposed to be for like precision touching, I think. This looks like we'd wear for like a nightclub act. Hey, <laughs> jazzy people. Lightweight and breathable, perfect sensitivity, tip grips. I cannot figure out really what they're for. So this is just like for, to keep it from like slipping around when you get sweaty? For gamers, dude. I guess, I mean, I guess if like you've been in, you know, your parents' basement for 12 hours. Take a sweat. break! It, it actually getting all sweaty. I'm not wearing those. What are these for? More precise aiming. Kids, I beat Red Dead 2 without these, okay? So do it the old fashioned way. I, it doesn't I, seem like they're that grippy though. I don't see how they can be more precise than your finger. They're making your finger Bigger. Let us know in the comments, are we wrong about tip grips? If you want them, you come get them out of the trash. All right, before we move on, let's check out some of your fan art. Ah, the good ones. That was good. Nice job, everybody. To send in your fan art, email us at rejects at bat19.com. The Bodlin reads all of them. All right, this is the redemption round. Eric and I have scoured the internet and we found a product that we think you should add to Fat19.com. But let's take you back a few episodes when you introduced me to the greatest invention of all time, the Chillomatic. Chillomatic. You couldn't wrap your head around how brilliant it yes, was. This it just cool was kind of over your head. You didn't get it. I like it. Put the stuff in the refrigerator. Don't get it. What don't I get? That you're too lazy or forgetful to put the stuff no, you buy in the I just gotten home just from shopping. Just put it in the fridge. I think we identified where you're having trouble wrapping your head around like this disruption of technology. Okay. You yeah. love cold yeah. water. Yeah. We introduce to you, Patow. <laughs> what is happening? The cup cooler. The cup cooler. Now people have seen the ones that you set these on your you know, desk and it keeps your coffee hot. This is the opposite. You want things cold. So this will cool it down in a heartbeat. Ooh, that did get instantly, instantly cold. Instantly cold. We got the most tepid of water here. Jamie doesn't drink tepid water. So how long does it take to cool down the water? So it's true strength is keeping a cold drink cold, oh. but it can cool down a room temperature drink within 30 minutes. 30 minutes. But you know, you start with a cold drink and then it just stays cold. Yeah, you don't cold. want oh, it to just get. it just stays cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much is it? One low payment of $59.99. And you're done. No more ice. Did it get cold? No. Oh. This looks like something that needs to be extensively tested before we could really go forward. So I'm gonna say like TBD. Oh, we win again. That's a maybe. We are on a hot streak. Will you go out with this product? He just circled maybe. <laughs> oh. We reject a lot of products. So make sure to check out vat19.com to see the products that do meet our awesome standards. See you next time. Vat19.com.